Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Silkworm. This was created by uh, Tecmo in 1988. And it is a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up. And you can choose between using a helicopter and a jeep. And uh, the helicopter, you have uh, three buttons for each vehicle. Uh, for the helicopter, you will have one button for forward fire, one button for a downward shot at an angle. And if you hold down the third button and shoot with the downward shot, the downward shot is more downward at a more downward angle than the other. And with the Jeep, you can press one button for forward fire, one button for jump, and one button you hold down and that will point the gun behind you. Otherwise, it is pointed in front. And you can push up and down on the controller to raise the gun or lower it. But um, I remember seeing this in arcades. It's it's okay. It's, it's, it's not terrible by any means. The graphics are very nice. But... Um, you can... When you put in a credit, pressing a player one start makes you the uh, chopper. And pressing player two shot or start makes you the uh, jeep. And you can, of course, play two-player simultaneous play and have both the chopper and the jeep on the screen. Touch any enemy or their uh, weapons, or their, then uh, you're dead. But um, you can continue up to a point. It's like the sixth level or thereabouts, where uh, you are not allowed to continue anymore. When you run out of lives, your game will end. I prefer the chopper. The chopper is much easier to control. And I'm going to start with the chopper. Um, you get an extra life at 30,000, and it might be like every 30,000, I don't know for sure, but... When you're using the chopper, I would recommend pressing the first and second buttons. So you have a downward shot and your front shot. I don't even mess with the third button. Like I said, with the chopper, it will um, it will change the angle of your downward shot when you hold that button down. Here and there, there will be uh, a dinosaur chopper. If you destroy it, it gives you a, a double shot icon that you can pick up and have double shots. And there, there we go. It just gives you a double straight shot, not like double a downward a missile. But um, there will sometimes be these little orange flashing buttons, and you can destroy them and collect uh, shields. Now the shields can either protect you for just a few seconds, which is kind of lame, or you can destroy the shields with a bunch of shots, and then they'll act as a uh, as a scatter shot. And you can destroy all the enemies on the screen with it, like I just did. When you see the sky flash, then you face a boss, and the boss is always going to be either this chopper or it's going to be a tank, without exception. boss. Now I go to wave two. This game is okay. Um, the music is very repetitive. I mean, it doesn't uh, doesn't change. It needed like a different soundtrack for each level. There will be these uh, cannons that stick out of these uh, shells, these armor shells, and fire out some uh, homing missiles at you. This game can be hectic at times with with all the uh, homing missiles that can fly all over the screen. But yeah, we'll look at me uh, playing as the Jeep later on. Anytime you see that flashing uh, uh, chopper part there, it's going to turn into the uh, the dinosaur. And there I got the... Uh, 
the double again. Oops, crap, and I probably lost my life. Now we've got these uh, floating uh, tank things, or tank things that are parachuting down to the ground. There are a total of 12 levels to this game. And, um, the last level is endless, which is kind of odd. It does, it just does not end. You keep on going and going and going. And yeah, you will lose the ability co to continue at a certain, at the conclusion of a certain wave. And this tank is really easy to destroy. Note those little, those little mines he shoots. That's for if you have the jeep. That makes for an extra challenge when you have the jeep, because you need to shoot or jump over those mines. I like the, the graphics on this. They're very good for 1988. But I think, I think you should get more uh, power-ups for your weapon. And it sucks that those shields only last for like a few seconds and that's it. They're better spent, uh, generally, I think, as, uh, destroying all the other enemies on the screen at once by shooting the shield multiple times. Now we got another dinosaur, uh, helicopter. Yeah, the overabundance, ah, oh crap, the overabundance of, uh, homing missiles at times from the enemies is really makes the challenge uh, high in this game. But uh, yeah, we will look at me playing as the Jeep later on. We have some, some pretty weird things that attack us here. Uh, one of them like splits, splits its body in, in half and both parts attack you. But yeah, I would I would just press the first and second buttons with the helicopter. I wouldn't mess with the third one. And now here's another uh, helicopter enemy here. Oh crap. <laughs> I wasn't careful there, was I? I uh, neglected to continue right here, but uh, we will look at the rest of the levels, or at least parts of them later on. Round four, or no, uh, round three, excuse me. You can press a button during the countdown to end it early and go to game over. I don't know what that helmet is. That uh, Tecmo Bunny is their mascot. He's appeared in a lot of Tecmo games, or at least the start of them. And uh, it will defeat this boss from uh, wave three and go to wave four. You get a bonus at the end of a wave for uh, how long you lasted with uh, your last life. Or with the life you had when the level ended. Those guys are a pain in the butt. Those guys that shoot fire eight ways. Uh, I like the graphics on this game. They're very nice. I like this canyon. They've got a canyon. They've got a, a snowy mountain. A number of different cool-looking uh, settings. There's our buddy, the uh, dinosaur chopper. But yeah, the soundtrack just is the same on every level. And it gets, gets old fast for me, anyway. This was definitely a popular enough to get like a uh, to get a release on a numerous home ports uh, uh, Commodore 64 I think um, maybe Atari 8-bit uh, systems but uh, I did see this in the arcades once don't think I bothered playing, playing it certainly not bad, and 
and like I said, I like the graphics and I really like the settings. Here's another boss. And it is the tank. But yeah, as the Jeep, there will be thing, extra things you might have to jump over that you did not have to worry about as the chopper. And we will look at the Jeep in a little bit. I just wanted to show you the, uh, the stages. And this is, uh, stage five, is it? Oops. <laughs> um, and it, here's the weird part where you have to shoot out these plates. There's a dinosaur chopper again. And now I'm using the Jeep. And like I said, the Jeep has a forward fired button. It has a jump button. And it has a uh, button you can hold down to point the gun behind you and you press up and down to raise the uh, gun. I put on invincibility at this point. But those those little mine balls will be fired at you and you can shoot them away from you. Or you can just jump over them. And now this is, uh, what is it, level 6 or wave 6? But yeah, it's it's much better to use the chopper than the jeep in this game. And now we're going to use them both in concert. Yeah, the jeep has uh, double shots, but the chopper has single shots. Yeah, you can both if you're if you if you're careful, you can both take out a tank or a, the chopper boss really quick. But you have to shoot its turret there in order to bring it down. Well, I hope you have a good weekend, everybody. Uh, my weekend is uh, my uh, two-week vacation is just about up. I just got. I'm gonna go back to work tomorrow. That's all right. I'm, work is work is not really hard. I definitely work harder than everybody else, but you know. As long as you get the work done, you can take longer breaks or whatever. Not a big deal, it's a government job, so there shouldn't be enormous pressure. But yeah, destroy those uh, shields enough, and uh, they'll, they'll scatter shrapnel that can take out all the other enemies on the screen. And there's the end of that boss from Wave 7. But yeah, at one point, the game will tell you, you cannot uh, continue anymore. The game will end when you run out of lives. I like the, uh, I like the graphics and the settings of this game very much. It's very nice. But just the music needed to be different from level to level. Now we're on uh, wave 9. Now we've got a, a desert road. Just very well done graphics and, and uh, the settings are just really nice. But yeah, the music's kind of old. There could have been uh, more weapon ups rather than just your two way fire. Yeah, definitely, definitely got invincibility by this point. And now we see a couple of billboards in the background. I'm sure they're uh, related to, like, other Tecmo games, but I can't tell what they are. Now we go to Wave 10. And like I was saying earlier, Wave 12 is endless. It will keep going on and on. You will not face a boss. And there's the boss of Wave uh, 10. Wave 11 is like some uh, futuristic hangar type of area. Let's see, I just wanted to show you snippets of the remaining levels and Ender Boss. But yeah, I saw this in the arcade once. I don't think I played it at the time, but it's it's okay. 
There's definitely been worse uh, uh, horizontally scrolling shooters out there. It looks like you should destroy this glass case, but you can't. You just take out the boss instead. See? Now we go to the last wave, wave 12, which does not have an ending. But yeah, we'll see these weird uh, white ring things on this level that, that shoot out multiple missiles. And they cannot be destroyed unless you uh, blast a shield enough so that it scatters a shot right through it, and there it is. It's the only, like, different, majorly different thing about this level. But that was Silkworm. Silkworm was created by Tecmo in 1988. Well, this is Crazy Clown Ready, and thanks for watching Silkworm by Tecmo in 1988 with a Jeep and Chopper in it. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I will see you later with another re-upload. Bye-bye, folks.